All right, guys, welcome back to Come Again on this week's pop review. John's showing off his pop collection. So how'd you get started in Pops, John? I wasn't trying to. <laughs> I wasn't either. I wasn't trying to. I have to hold the mic, by the way, and it lost the fucking click. Um, no, um, I'm a I'm a big Howard the Duck fan, and when um, I had a chance to order the Howard the Duck Funko Pop, because there's not many Howard the Duck merchandise, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Screw it, you know. Um, then... Um, I'm not sure how much longer it was after we were at Barnes and Noble and they had the fourth doctor, which I didn't know there were anything about exclusives as far as Bob Squad, I just thought it was the fourth doctor. And again, I'm a big Doctor Who fourth doctor fan. I was like, and it wasn't at that point, they're just getting started with the fourth doctor merchandise. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed him. Um, big fan of Creature of the Black Lagoon. When I saw him at Toys R Us, I picked him up. Those were my first three. Howard the Duck was my first. And I went almost an entire year without buying any more. And I think my next one was Roddy Roddy Piper. I was like, that's cool. It's Piper. He had just passed away. I needed to get him. Right. Uh, I went to GameStop. <clears throat> I think it was GameStop. Saw Bret Hart. He was my favorite. Him and Piper... Ty, as far as my favorite rest of all time goes, grabbed him. Before I, I don't even know who was that. It might have been, I think, Bubba Fett. <laughs> Before I know it, I have close to about 50 Funko Pops in like a year. But I'm not the type of person that has to go out of their way to get the entire set right. of something. Unless I actually want the set. Um, it's kind of like I am. I, I get... Funkos that I think look cool. Yeah, like my favorite character. Like <clears throat> I found out there was a Spider Man twenty ninety nine. I didn't care if it was exclusive. I didn't care if it was gonna be worth a whole lot. Here's my favorite version of Spider Man, I wanted him. Mm. Um you know, it's all ha I think I have all the Spider Man homecoming ones. I want those because the that entire set because I'm a Spider Man fan. Right. Um not because <clears throat> it's an exclusive or because they're gonna be worth money. I'm a big Spider Man fan too. Green Lantern. He's you'll notice he's my only DC one. He's really besides Robin, which I haven't had a chance to get, is my own favorite DC hero. GI Joe, Cobra Commander is my favorite GI Joe character, so I grabbed him. And as I was telling John earlier, I actually almost got Cobra Commander at Mega Replay the other day when I was there. They had three pops for twenty bucks. And really? Yeah. Is there not that sale going on? I think so, yeah. But I almost got him. However, his mask was scuffed yeah. up. Yeah. Now, I will say that. I will say, um, I do care if the box or the character inside is screwed up. Like, the vulture over here, there's a small, like, in, like, a, like, corner or mm -hmm. whatever. I don't care about that. As long as it isn't smashed. Because, right. um, I found two Ghost of Yoda, a Spirit of Yoda, the Glow in the Dark, and were Walgreens exclusive, and I wanted it. And I would have gotten them, but the box was, like, both of them were, like, almost crushed. So, I mean, they have to look nice on the shelf. Right. I mean, so, I, I will say, I think the, the worst one, the worst one that I have is the Glow in the Dark GameStop Vulture. And that, again, it, it's not that bad. It's hardly noticeable, but... So... I know you said Howard the Duck was your first. Which one is your favorite? My favorite? Um, I'm going to probably have to say the Spider Man 2099 and uh, the Roddy Piper. And which one is your least favorite? Uh, the Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Um, the Iron Fist, I have, it's this one right here. It's the um, gold exclusive um, 
I don't know anyone. I, I got them. A free comic book day. It was a free comic book day hype. So I was like, oh, I have one. I'm going to pick one up. So he's available for trade if anybody sees this. And I'm looking for uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn from mm. Star Wars if anybody's interested in trading. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I don't have a Joker either. For some reason, I can't find a Joker other than the um, uh, Jared Leto one. And I want no. nothing to do with no. that Joker. No. Are you willing to trade any of yours or no. only the Iron Fist? Just the Iron Fist. Okay. Because, like I said, I only get characters that I like. Right. So, I mean, if I, you know, I don't go out of my, oh, this is exclusive. If I get this one, I can trade it for some. I don't usually do that. Iron Fist was the first time I did that with. So. Are you going to get more of the movie monsters? I would like to get more of the movie monsters. I think they're out of print, though. And I would, there's actually a, another creature I'd like to get. It's a glow-in-the-dark version. I'd like to get him. But, uh, I would, yeah, I, I, I'm not exactly sure who all... I'm afraid to pull the thing out and look on the back to see who all they got. So, is Iron Fist your most recent purchase, or was that Spider-Man Homecoming set? Um, well, I ended up buying the Iron Fist, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Homecoming Unmasked, um, Vulture, and Tony Stark all in one trip. But, um, no, the most recent would be the Spider-Man Homecoming uh, homemade suit uh, and Peter Parker. I just got those um, Saturday. Those are my re two recent ones. Okay. So. <clears throat> now, are there more? I know you said there were a few that you needed to get, but are there others in the whole pop... Uh, price guide that you really want to get? I'm, I'm sure there is. Um, like, what's your grail? My grail. That's tough, because Green Lantern was my grail. Um, well, I actually was a Spider-Man 29, and actually. Um, I think I... I'd have to look. Um... Wolverine in his brown and orange suit. Okay. That'd be nice to have. Um, let's see. Yeah, the Grand Admiral Thrawn. I'd, you know, no, no big like. I really, yeah. I think I pretty much had my Grails. I'm pretty much the same way. I see them on Amazon, and I purchase them. Um, I just refuse to spend more than twelve dollars on one unless right. it's an exclusive, then I might go fifteen. Um, if it's a big one. Then I, I might do 20. Billy's still got that Claire that he's supposed to give me. Because I paid him 10 extra dollars. And... I would like to... No, I, I said I'm not big on trying to finish sets. But there, the, the Labyrinth set, I would like to finish. Because the only one I was able to find was Ludo. So. You can find those on Amazon all day long. Can you? Yeah. Ludo I got at... Um, that, as you can tell, that's the first and only big pop I'd have. I got... Oh, I... They're, okay, okay. I, I guess I'd like a uh, full, full life size baby Groot. Okay, like Target. what Billy has. Yeah, yeah, like Billy <laughs> has. We'll try and try and convince him to trade it. I think that one's for Blake. Uh. I don't think he's gonna give that up. So, um, but yeah, with, within the span of a year, a little over a year, I have, I think almost fifty. I think there's forty seven here, forty six. What do we got here? What? Let's see if there's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 40. I must be missing some. Oh, you know what it is? Hmm. Um, Funko also has made action figures. Um, so I have some of those. I have a creature okay. from the Bla I have two creatures of the Black Lagoon Funko reaction figures. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, the entire first series and the only series of the Firefly action figures, all made by Funko. Nice. I just didn't bring those down. I just brought the the pops. So that's why because I, I go on the the pop price guide mm -hmm. and it'll tell you how many pops you have when you put add them to your collection. And so mm -hmm. that's what it is. So how many did you count? Forty what? Forty. Forty. Yeah, including the uh, 
She Hulk. And this, that's actually, um, they're called rock candies. I don't know why, but they're just full size little statuettes, almost anime style. I'm really liking the. Uh, Friggin' She Hulk. There's not much She Hulk merchandise, <laughs> so I grabbed that too. I'm really liking the Loyal Subjects action vinyls. The Loyal Subjects action vinyls. Yeah, like your Master of the Universe action vinyls. They're made by the Loyal Subjects. Oh. They're the mystery. Oh, those that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, now, those. Um, I kind of wish Pop would cr come up with something like that. They do. They do? They do. I know they've got the, they little the little mystery minis. They have the little mystery minis, which is pretty much the same thing, except they're not as fully art articulated. Right, that's what I want, is the fully articulated. And, um, the only thing that pisses me off about those is it's probably just our fucking town. Our town sucks. But uh, whenever I do find those He-Man ones, um, like Walmart, Walmart, um, Walmart North didn't get any in. Walmart South had gotten some in. But somebody bought half of them. I got uh, three of Target. them from I got three of them from Walmart South, and they were all the villains. I didn't get any of the uh, masters. Which villains did you get? I got Trapjaw. I got uh, Evil Lynn and um, uh, Triclops. So I would totally grab those from you, or whatever. Because I have uh, I bought my the, the original the first series the first run, which was Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, then, then I just want to go on the record and say I fucking hate exclusives. <laughs> especially San Diego. Except, especially Comic Con exclusives. Because I can't afford to go to Comic Con. <laughs> but I got mine on Hot Topic. Uh, but I, Billy, uh, <coughs> do you remember what he found out from C2E2? Next year, if Comic Eden is still going, $25 a piece for everyone involved in Comic Eden for tickets. For really? the full week, yeah. How is this like we got like a booth or what? No, because we do podcasts. Oh, and yeah, oh, podcast so press, right? A press. We get ah. backstage and all that stuff. Nice. Yeah. He didn't tell me that. Um, I don't know what I was gonna <clears> say. <throat> oh, uh, the hot topic ones. I ended up getting the out of that set. I, I would have loved to have gotten them all, but I got the ones I actually wanted. There was only three that I really wanted out of that set. I wanted He-Man, I wanted Skeletor, I wanted Ma uh, Many Faces. I bought four of them. I also got Stratos. I think we, we, I don't know, did we do a review on those? I think we did a review on those. We did a review on the uh, Loyal Subjects ones. Yeah, 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 that's what those are what I'm talking about. So, but yeah, I found a whole pack, a whole box at Target. I was going to, I wanted to buy them, but I didn't have any money. Um... Had finally gotten money together to buy at least most of them, and the whole fucking box was gone. I mean, I mean, you could tell somebody just picked up the box and bought the whole thing because the box wasn't there. And that's what they do. They and then they sell yeah. the damn things on fucking eBay for a skyrocket. I hate scalpers. Yeah, I hate scalpers. But then again, you also got collectors like uh, Pixel Dan who buys a whole case of them. Well, that's right. He's so, a collector. Yeah. And I think most of the time he, he'll he'll sell his extras off or give them to friends, but he'll sell them off at you know, I believe the normal price. Right. You know he's not gonna you know. Um, I understand if you own your own store and you need to make a little profit, that's fine. Um, but I didn't go out of my way to sell out an entire store of one item just to have it in my store and then jack the price up. I always bought one for myself, one extra for the store, and I kept the price roughly around what it would be in store. I'd like it up to about five bucks just so I can make a right. little bit of profit back, which was my tax, and then view a dollar or two. So I, I just I fucking hate stuff. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I didn't get the Nintendo Mini Classic. Right. I think that's going to conclude this episode of Pop Review. Me bitching. <laughs> we will be back. <laughs> um, I think John's going to review a couple of his Masters of the Universe classics, right? Sure. All right. And uh, we'll probably do the podcast, too. We'll find something to bitch about. Yeah. And uh, I think we're going to do a new intro as well, because I accidentally... We haven't, even, we haven't even done an intro. Yet. We had that intro that I was using for the longest time. The last intro we 
did from the shop I was using on all the videos. Then I accidentally deleted the file that the folder that had that intro in it. You need to buy a terabyte drive and put all that stuff yeah. on a terabyte drive so it's safe. Like I have <clears> every <throat> single episode uncut, unedited of Baron Uncle's Nice Movie Clip. All the bloopers, everything. And then, of course, on there I have the edited stuff too. Okay, so we got Roddy Piper, which is you can see was a Target exclusive. Bret Hart, I believe, I got a GameStop. Uh, Green Lantern, I got an FYE, also an exclusive Alpha I got from Billy, which he got at Walmart. Uh, all the Power Rangers down there, the GameStop Morphine um, exclusive. Uh, let's see, we already talked about the Barnes Noble exclusive for Doctor. He's holding Jelly Bellies or Jelly Beans. Cobra Commander, I got a GameStop. We got Ludo, I got it. Red Raccoon Games in Bloomington. Kush Black Lagoon, I got Toys R Us. Elvira, I got from Toys R Us. Uh, Boba Fett is a Walmart, uh, Walgreens exclusive. Prototype. The prototype. Uh, the two Leia's I got at Walmart. Uh, the two Target exclusives, Anakin and Cassian, were gifts. Um, I've got those five, no, those first four Spider-Man Homecomings I got at uh, either Hot Topic uh, or Toys R Us. Vulture was a GameStop exclusive. It closed the dark. The She-Hulk came from GameStop. Uh, the Spider-Man came from... That's the only way I don't know where the hell it came from. Walgreens, I think. Uh, Spider-Man 29 was Walgreens exclusive. Black Suit Ven Spider-Man Venom Walgreens. Green Goblin Walgreens. Dr. Octopus was a bitch to find. I think I got him at GameStop. Wolverine was GameStop. <coughs> um... The movie Doctor Strange was Hot Topic. Doctor Strange was GameStop. Doctor Strange was a Target exclusive there. That She-Hulk, I don't know where I got that, but the Glow in the Dark was a gift from Billy. Also an exclusive, however, that came from uh, Southern Hobby. And Iron Fist came from my local comic book store. Well, local is, you know, Springfield. <laughs> An hour away, 45 minutes away. Also an exclusive. So I think it's supposed to be a free comic book exclusive. Very cool. So, 